Previously, we displayed the sheer power of the new 22T snowplow attachment. And as defiant as Florida's subtropical climate was towards snow, that didn't stop us. But what if you needed the 22T to perform an operation that was, say, more delicate? I am Tomas, and this is Evitex RTA, the robotic trimmer attachment. Much ingenuity went into the development of the RTA. We brought together the best minds Evitech had to offer to create such an intricate and well-developed system. Hi, I'm Will Bascom. I'm a mechanical engineer with Evitech Incorporated. Sorry. Hey, I'm Greg, and uh, I do most of the wiring here over at Evitech. Hi, I'm Lewis. I help put together the electrical components for all our units here. Of course, no success is without its moments of failure. Uh, one of the uh, cutting blades uh, broke off of the system. And, uh, but when it broke off of the system, we can see vibrations because uh, it wasn't balanced. So we noticed there was something wrong. It wasn't easy. Oops. But we don't do things here because they're easy. Time and time again, we kept making adjustments as we so, needed to. Uh, we changed the rotation of the uh, high torque motor. Before we had a horizontal actuator which increased the width of the arms. After a little bit of consideration we've determined that a vertical actuator to adjust the height and angle of attack of the arms is probably better. Until finally we were able to obliterate the rolls of paper, tear through the tree branch, and even chip away some steel. They're a little deformed just from the um, from the metal bar test but that, that's it's normal. So how does the RTA work, Will? The wheel is a sort of sensor in itself. When an object comes here, the arms will move, the wheel will roll, and that works in conjunction with these springs here. We have some stronger springs. I believe these are 36 pound springs. Before we had, I don't know, eight. That didn't really work. <laughs> so we, we beefed them up and now it works a lot better. So it just flies right back. And over here, we have our universal controller that helps control the linear actuator of the trimmers that we have for this unit. This one was a bit of a uh, project because there's a lot of moving pieces. That There's wires that come in from over here and go through this pivot point. So we had to do a lot of uh, creative thinking in order to make sure nothing got pinched or cut. So. Uh, yeah, you can see we have like this wire loom coming out, and uh, it's the same thing on the other side. Basically, the wires go through through the arm and then come out here, and uh, the linear actuator also comes down here. And we kind of make like a bundle, like a wiring harness, that all come together with some uh, pretty strong connectors right here. That way, whenever you want to remove the attachment, you can uh, just unplug it and take it off without too much hassle. So yeah, it's a pretty nice system. It's really easy too. Basically, the, uh, as far as the, tr the mower goes, the right joystick is uh, propulsion, and that's all it does. This high and low speed, and then this one controls the trimmer arms and the uh, gas engine. So this would turn the gas engine off, this would turn, or I'm sorry, this will turn the gas engine on, this will turn it off, and now a new feature for the 22T is this will engage the trimmer arms, so they'll start cutting. And now, we're ready to give it a field test.
first field test, I think it went pretty well.